and welcome to Lime Guru channel. In this video, we'll see that how you can deploy Flask API onto a Docker container. So let's get started. So here you can see that I have written a Flask API code. Let me zoom it a bit. So you can see here, this is my Flask API code. And what I'm doing is I'm importing a Flask library here first, then I'm creating a Flask app, and then I'm creating a uh, URL which is my root URL for this uh, API slash uh, which is the root URL and in this root URL I'm just returning hello world so let's try to run this uh, flask API without docker first and then we'll see that how you can um, run this flask API inside docker container so let me run it so you I've gone to my console terminal let me view the content of the file of this directory so you can see this flask test.py is available here it's the same file which i was showing here flask test.py so let me try to run it without docker first python3 flask underscore test.py so you can see that my api is running now on port number 5000 which is which is the default port for flask api let me try to access this uh, API uh, onto this URL localhost and then port number 5000 if I access it so you can see that hello world has been printed. Uh, let me try to shut it down. Uh, so if I try to access it now so it says the site cannot be reached. So the, my, my flask code is working fine so I've tested that. Now what we'll do is instead of running this flask code directly on my local system we will be running this code inside a docker container on my local system for that i need to create one docker image which should run this piece of code and the docker image will be created using a docker file and docker file is available here so what this docker file is doing is i'm using one public docker image uh, which has uh, the setup for python environment as well as the flask environment so i don't need to install anything else all the installations are available in this base image so i'm using this as a base image then i'm choosing work directory as my current working directory inside the docker container and then i'm copying the content of current directory uh, into my docker container so my uh, the content of my current directory which is what my current directory contains flask test.py so this would be copied inside this docker image so i'm copying this uh, content which is the python flask api file and then i'm exposing port number 5000 because i have to access the docker container on port number 5000 so that's why i need to expose this port so this is uh, the docker's image specification if you have to access any port onto docker container you have to expose it using this uh, syntax and then in the end i'm running the same command python3 flask test.py if i run this when when i'll run this command inside the docker container it will execute this piece of code inside the docker container and my api will be up and running inside the docker container so this is just a docker file right now we need to create docker image first so let's create an image first uh, let me clear it uh, ls minus ltr so you see here the docker file is also available onto the same path uh, let's build the image docker build hyphen t the name i want to give for the image let's say it's flask on docker this is the name i want to give and the docker file is present in my current directory so let's build the image and the image name will be uh, flask on docker so my image has been built let's see whether image has been built or not docker image ls docker sorry flask on docker flask on docker so if i do ls um, for the docker images then you can see this image has been created and the size of it has been created 16 seconds ago this is the image id and the size of the image is 913 mb so uh, now the image has been created let's try to run this image in a docker container so the command to run this image in a docker container is this so docker container run so what this command is saying that i want to run a docker container using this image flask on docker which i just created and i need to forward uh, do port forwarding also so that my local uh, system uh, 5000 port uh, request can be forwarded to this docker container 5000 port and that is why we exposed port 5000 also so that the my local uh, so that i can later on directly access it um, from my local system using this port forwarding uh, parameter so let's try to run it now docker container run command i have 
executed so now you can see the api is running again on port number 5000 let's try to access it from the browser so if i refresh it okay you see that hello world has been returned again so that means api is accessible it this url is sending the request on my local system port 5000 which is getting forwarded to the container port number 5000 and on that container port 5000 my flask api is running and on the root path we have a uh, api which is returning hello world so in this way this api has worked um, but the difference this time is that it is the api is running via docker container inside the docker container it's not directly running on my system so in this way you can deploy your applications onto docker container let me shut it down the container again so the now container has been stopped let's try to access the api again the api is not accessible now because the container has stopped so this is what i wanted to cover in this video in this way you can deploy your flask applications onto a docker container uh, that was it which I wanted to cover and I'll share the code URL also um, uh, onto the uh, uh, video description. Thanks for watching.